Well, what's the first thing you think about when you see one of these? Some say no one knows how to drive them. They're annoying, dangerous, and a lot more. Now, one city is spending money on a study to see if these roundabouts could be the solution to their massive traffic problems. But the city of Cape Coral isn't hoping to add just one or two. They want to add more than 25 in the city, with six going on Burnstor Road alone. Wing News reporter Paul Dolan joins us live from Cape Coral. Now, Paul, why does the city think roundabouts could be the solution to their problem? The city of Cape Coral is proposing to add more than two dozen roundabouts all around the city. The goal is by adding these roundabouts, traffic flow would improve. But for some drivers, navigating traffic circles can be confusing. Drivers may be seeing dozens more of these in Cape Coral if approved by council. That said, adding roundabouts can be stressful for drivers to navigate. Some trucks can get through roundabouts. It just makes it a lot tighter and harder for people to navigate through with it. And it causes a lot of, uh, a lot of panicking, a lot of uh, frustration. This is a map showing the 27 proposed roundabouts. Six of those proposed roundabouts are on Old Burnt Store Road, including along Tropicana Parkway, Kismet Parkway, Gulfstream Parkway, and Calusa Parkway. I spoke with the Florida Department of Transportation to learn how roundabouts are beneficial. Benefits of having roundabouts um, is always safety. Uh, safety is the number one uh, thing that FDOT looks at. In a statement given to Wink News from the Cape Coral City Manager's Office, roundabouts can improve traffic flow, improve safety, and promote resilient infrastructure in severe weather events. Come to a four-way stop when electric is out, using it as a four-way stop, it can become very difficult uh, to navigate at that point. When you have a roundabout, you don't have that issue. But in Heath's experience, when some drivers get close to a roundabout, they become unsure of what to do next. Nobody knows when to go for sure, or they jump the gun and don't give a care if vehicles are in the way. If the proposed roundabouts happen in the future, FDOT says staying calm is most important. To stay calm. Um, like I said, I mean, if you miss your exit, just simply continue around the roundabout and just try again. Now, the city of Cape Coral told me no funding or timeline is in place for the proposed roundabouts. The next steps are the roundabout planning study that's expected to begin this coming spring and end the following fall. Live in Cape Coral, Paul Dolan, Wake News.